are new here, welcome. I am Mama. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very easy chocolate mug cake. Now I know the other two recipes were easy, but this one is easy, which means it's been like five minutes. And the best thing about it is that it's made with all ingredients that you will probably have in your kitchen right now. So without further ado, let's get started. The ingredients you will need are 5 teaspoons of all-purpose flour, 2 teaspoons of cocoa powder, 4 teaspoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and milk is as required. So the first step to make our muck cake is to mix together our flour, sugar, and cocoa powder, which we already did. Next up, we're going to add in our baking powder. And we're going to give it a quick mix with our spoon until it's nicely combined. And then next, we're going to add our milk. Now, there's no measurement for the milk. You're just going to add it as required. So, it's just making, uh, like making a dough. But just add a little bit, give it a mix, and then see how much more you need. And we're going to keep adding it until we get a nice uh, fudgy batter. Alright, our batter is ready. This is the consistency that we're going for. Nice and drippy. We are ready to take this to the microwave. So now that our batter is all ready, we are ready to cook it, not in the oven, in the microwave. So let's put it in there. And we're going to heat it for about 45 seconds to a minute. Some people like their cake to be a little bit moussey. So you can just heat it for about like 30 seconds to 45 seconds if you want it to be moussey. But a full cake will be done in about 45 seconds to a mi minute. And ta-da! There you have it! How to make chocolate mug cake. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful because I enjoy making these so much. And this is super easy to make and the best thing about it is that it's so easy to make and I have all these ingredients already in my kitchen. So that's super amazing. Let me know in the comments down below what other recipes you would like to see me make next. And if you tried this one, let me know what do you think about it. I'm really happy to see your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and liked the recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!